Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to have a discussion about the natural hair community. Okay, let's get straight to it. I have my hair in the fours. My hair is really, really dry. For some reason, my hair just gets dry after I do a blowout. I got some new goodies that is coming in the mail. It's gonna hopefully be better for my hair. But anyway, speaking of hair, the natural hair community, while I'm not a part of it, okay? The reason I'm not a part of the natural hair community is because the natural hair community is very toxic, okay? When I first, um, well, when I started watching natural hair videos and stuff, like a couple of years back, they were talking about haters and who are a part of the natural hair community. I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Aleve Total Repair 5. I'm gonna link this down in the description box below. They were talking about how people, specifically like black women, try to tell them what to do with their hair. They be mean, they just bully and call them names and stuff. Tell them what to what not to do with their hair. And I'm like, that is so crazy. Like, I believe them, but I was like, that is so crazy. People are still out here telling people what they can and cannot do with their own hair. Except these women are black women. And I'm like, really? First of all, hold the brakes. If you don't like a video, a hair video that somebody is, is doing, if you don't like what they're doing with their hair, then keep it moving. Keep it scrolling because that's their hair, that's their channel, not yours. Worry about yourself. It's not how you say it, it's how you say it. Okay, like you can give suggestions, that's cool, but downright telling people, hey, don't do this to your hair, your hair is gonna fall out. Or, oh, you you sabotaging your hair when you do this, that, that, that. Oh, uh, that, that doesn't look right. Try doing this. Or they don't even say try, they say stop using oils, stop using custards. Stop. I'm like, stop telling people what to do with their hair. It just keeps going on and on. I'm like, God dang, this is what y'all have to deal with. I see why some people just turn off their comments because it's crazy. You you go around, you think you're doing something good with your channel, with your hair, especially when you find out what to do with your hair. That's like a blessing. Some people still ain't there yet, okay? You do good, you do the video, you spend all that time doing the video, and you finally get the form a little how, what, how your hair works. So, wow, child, my hair is just... Yes, but anyway, um, you figure out what your hair needs and stuff, and then all of a sudden you got you got Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumber in your comment section telling you that's not correct, don't do that, or buy this, do that. I'm like, are you gonna buy it? Are you gonna do my hair? And half the time, the people that are saying that their hair is not in tip-top shape themselves, and I'm like, how are you gonna tell somebody? What to do with their hair? They're not trying to be you. Yeah, you don't have the same hair texture. You might have similar hair texture. That is true, you know, because all black people have different textures, you know, but it can have a similarity, you know, like with porosity and sometimes curl pattern can be very similar, but that doesn't give you the right to criticize or tell people what to do with their hair. Here's a suggestion that you can do okay if you want to talk about hair if you don't like the way people style their hair or whatever use your youtube channel because it's already been created use your youtube channel make videos about what you like and dislike about other people's style other people's don't put their name in it. Don't like bully them, but just, you know, use it as an example, you know? Do a video on what you like and dislike about hairstyles, hair routines, you know? And if people really care about what you have to say, you will get views. Those are the people that actually care what you have to say, okay? Don't go in people's comments spreading hate. Create your own videos. Don't put their names in it, okay? Because that's bullying. Don't put their names in it. And just, just talk about what you like and dislike. Simple as that. Like, you don't have to go out of your way. Like, the natural hair community, we go, not we, because I'm not a part of it. 
But natural hair people such as myself, we go through enough as it is with even trying to style our hair, trying to keep it moisturized and stuff. We go through enough and a lot of natural still go with hair discrimination. They don't need that from you, okay? They go through a lot of mess. They don't need that from you. Keep it to yourself. I keep getting messages like on my last video, like whether it's my grease video. I use the grease video as an example. I have to put a lot on my hair because my hair is really, really thick. Y'all know. I just got a comment today suggesting or they say word of advice. I don't know if it's a robot because I keep getting it, but keep saying like get a fortifying. Oh, the, the second video was about being lazy natural cost me six inches of hair growth that video was the first one i got that comment from and then today i got it from the grease video and it kept suggesting they kept suggesting that i get a fortifying hair growth shampoo and i'm like lady that's not what i that's not what i went for that's not what i'm looking for that's not what i said i want to do like my hair grows just fine and on top of it with shampoos i don't really trust like shampoos that say hair growth shampoos or all of that like shea moisture castor oil then that's something cool but it doesn't advertise that it will grow your hair in two weeks you know what i'm saying like just keep your scalp clean keep your hair clean keep it moisturized keep it masked up like i'm doing and it will flourish point blank period unless you have a medical problem you know a medical situation but other than that, like, I'm not looking for any hair growth, shampoos, conditioners. I I'm just not because been there, done that. Not with the shampoos, but with the hair growth oils, the, the gummies. Like, I'm just, I just let my hair be now. Like, I still have to take care of it more because, you know, I'm on, I'm on my plan. Like I said in my other video, I'm doing what I'm saying I'm doing. And my hair is growing back. Like, it looks kind of like I didn't even cut my hair. Like... But my ends are dry. You're going to be taken care of. Yes, you are. People really need to stay in their lane. Stay in their place, okay? Don't be telling grown people to do this, to do that. As if you paying for it. Are you paying for it? And another thing. Some people assume that just from a 7 minute video, 10 minute video. That they know you. Like they know your whole life. They know why it is your hair is like that but they they say it in the in the most disrespectful way and the point of the matter is you don't know you don't know like just stop leave people alone it's they hair like the grease situation i hear a lot of stuff about the grease situation yes grease can be bad if you put it on your scalp Okay, it's not made for your scalp. But you can put it on your hair. It's a sealant. It's it's a, a protector. You know, but people have different ways of adding grease. Some people just put it on dry hair. Some people put it on wet hair. For me, I'm thinking about just putting it on dry hair and see how that goes. But that's besides the point. People really, really need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Okay, because... It's annoying. It's annoying. Why y'all? Why y'all going around doing that? And y'all so proud, and you, half of y'all don't even be speaking facts. You really think you know about that person's hair, about that person's situation, about what that person is doing on a daily basis? You really think you know something, but you don't. You don't. You do not live with that person. You do not shop with that person. You don't eat that person's food. So how would you, stranger? know what this person do with her hair on a daily basis stop are you a hairstylist do you know what's in her scalp like are you specialized in scalps hair growth any of that no so keep your negative comments to yourself that's why a lot of people don't like being part of the um community i almost say negative community community but that's what it is like y'all go out of y'all way to try to tell people and dictate what they need to do with their hair like 
nobody's gonna get it right okay that's what that's why it's called learning okay not everybody wants to go with your technique not everybody wants to do what you do with your hair and let me tell you this okay let me tell you ooh, <laughs> let me tell you this some of y'all that be over there chirp chirp chirping talking crap some of y'all don't even have hair I don't get it some of y'all don't have hair. Like y'all either chopped it off or, or what, I don't know. If it's a medical condition, this is not about you. I'm talking about the nasty, disrespectful people that think they know everything about you and don't know you, okay? Don't know you at all. But they don't even be having hair and I'm like, how you gonna tell me what to do with my hair and your hair look like that? Like, it's okay to have short hair, but why is your hair, why does your short hair look dry? Why does your short hair look crusty? I don't get it. Like, I just don't get it. Some of y'all be having perms in your hair. I'm like, how you gonna tell a natural hair person what to do with their hair? Yeah, some of y'all be, I know some of y'all be having perms in there. Y'all be sliding it in that texturizer. Don't play. Don't play. Some of y'all do. What I'm trying to get across is to just mind your business. If it's not, if it ain't nice, just hush. But if you, it's okay to have a concern. It is. And there's another, there's another way of just downright being derogative. Derogative. Me, I know I'm a natural hair channel. I am. And I know I'm going to be dealing with a heck of a lot more comments than that. Probably even worse. I already dealt with one that was worse. But um, early on when I had 57 subscribers. But um, I already know I'm going to be dealing with a lot of hate comments. It's just up to me to, you know, delete. And I don't mind deleting. You're not going to ruin my day. A clap back is cool. A clap back every now and then is cool because some people deserve a good clap back. But for me, I ain't got time for that. Like, I got other things to do. I ain't got time to be arguing with strangers. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the, if you don't like the way I style my hair or other natural hair people, women, people, men style their hair, if you don't like it, keep it moving. There's no point and trying to be rude, disrespectful. There's no point in that. Like, get it together, for real. Like, if you're not paying to get their hair trimmed, taken care of, get products, then sh shut up, shut up. If you're concerned, genuinely concerned, then let them know. Just say how you feel without being an ass, you know? It's ways of doing that. Like, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because I am just so sick of it. Like every time I turn around, a natural hair woman is talking about, wow, look how much I use. Thank God it was, you know, like $5. Every time I turn around, a woman is saying what she is going through with the natural hair community. They're like they toxic. It's toxic. Y'all, the natural hair community, y'all supposed to be sticking together. Y'all supposed to be a community. Y'all supposed to be understanding and learning and loving each other. But y'all, y'all the opposite. Y'all are no different than the people that talks about natural hair people like a dog who still calls natural hair people nappy head. You are no different. You are no different. And it's, it's sickening. Like, you... You go out of your way to spread that. That's not cool, child. It's not. Y'all really need to stay in your lane, mind your business, and if you don't like it, keep it moving. There are millions upon millions of hair videos that you can choose from that you can watch, okay? You don't have to watch mine. You don't have to watch theirs, okay? Just shut up. Just shut up. Nobody asks for your criticism, okay? Now, I'm going to put this cap on my head. I got to work out. Yes, child. Work out for about 20 minutes. Well, actually, it's a 40 minute thing. Work out for about 40 minutes. I have low porosity hair, so this would be like a blessing. This would be like amazing, you know? It'd be dripping a little bit, but that's fine. I got a shower anyway after, so big deal. But anyway, that's the end of my video. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I really need to get this out because I am so sick of people dictating people's lives, especially with their hair. Like leave their hair alone. Their hair is not your hair. 
their hair is not growing out of your scalp. Like be concerned, but don't be rude. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be hurtful to people, okay? Because that's not getting the point across when you when you be rude and disrespectful. That's not getting the point across. You pissing them off and you getting blocked. So what purpose did that serve you? None. And at the end of the day, they're going to keep doing what they want to do. I want to keep doing what I want to do. I'm still doing hair videos. Okay. Thank y'all. Um, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social medias down in the description box below. I'll also be linking this deep conditioner. I tried this before and this stuff works. It really, really does. It was much thicker than this for some reason. I hope they didn't change the ingredients, but I do like this. It's really, really good. It's a repair concentrate with protein and almond oil. So yeah, and hopefully, you know, like around the 22nd or something, I might have a new hairdo or whatever, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> I gotta go. I'm gonna go ahead and work out while this is steaming up a storm. And until y'all see me again, guys, bye. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs>